Good morning, Western Washington, and happy Labor Day. I'm Matthew Fab with Western Washington Weather, and we're going to take a look today at the thunderstorm setup going through the area right now and the upcoming heat wave. So let's start here with the weather radar. You can see we did have some showers that moved up through the lowlands this morning. And that brought some lightning off of West Seattle and near Gig Harbor, and you can see those showers are now weakening and moving up toward Whatcom County and Skagit County there, and up some of the Hood Canal area. And we do have some more showers over eastern Washington. There is a thunderstorm chance over the Blue Mountains over the next couple of days. So heads up if you're out there. So now let's take a look here at the UW satellite. You can see we have a marine layer of stratus clouds over the entirety of western Washington and western Oregon. And those thunderstorms that moved through this morning were up above that marine layer. So that's why you can see actually on the satellite you can see the shadow of some of those thunderstorm clouds that moved through western Washington. That marine layer may clear a little bit today, but we will remain on the cool side. And then you see some more thunderstorms moving up into eastern Washington, especially over the Blue Mountains earlier this morning. Now let's take a look at our overall pattern. So here is that upper level low that is bringing these thunderstorms and showers across the Cascades, the Blue Mountains, and Western Washington. That upper level low is going to weaken and you can see that weakens there and moves to the east over the next couple of days, or really actually over the next 12 hours or so. And then this significant ridge starts building. This is early Wednesday and then we get to Thursday. Thursday is going to be one of the hottest days in a while with a good chance of reaching 90 degrees for parts of the Puget Sound area. And you can see with that ridge centered directly to our north, that's a great setup for a heat wave in the Pacific Northwest. And that continues through uh, Friday there. And you can see, so Thursday and Friday will both be quite hot. And that's what we're going to be really looking at over the next few days here. So now let's take a look. I just wanted to mention this real quick. This is not exactly western Washington, but it's worth mentioning there is a chance of some pretty strong winds on the east slopes of the Cascades today, especially around Ellensburg. So this is the NAM 3KM model. This is a high resolution forecast. And you can see, look at that in Ellensburg, they're 51 miles an hour, and that color roughly corresponds down here on the color scale to about 50 to 55 miles an hour. So those are some really strong outflow winds. And if there are any fires that start in this area, that would be quite bad as those winds would allow fires to spread very rapidly. So heads up if you're in the Ellensburg area or if you're driving on I-90, those could be some strong crosswinds with gusts of 50 to 55 miles an hour late tonight. And this, so this evening, really that picks up. So we're looking there about 4, 4 to 6 p.m. that picks up and it will continue overnight into about 2 a.m. So now let's take a look at the lightning forecast here. So you can see... We'll actually refresh this here and uh, get the latest information. So there we go. We can see we it did pick up some of this lightning potential around 10 o'clock here. And as that moves off, you can see maybe another chance of some very isolated storms this evening, but that's not super likely. And then some chances in the Cascades. Let's take a look at this on a broader scale. Here's the European model. You can see as we go through this afternoon, there is a chance of thunderstorms across the entirety of the Cascades that continues into the evening, and then those start to move off into eastern Washington through tonight. So just heads up there if you are in the Cascades or traveling back home today on this end of this Labor Day weekend, be prepared for potential thunderstorms, and that could start fires, so we will be watching that over the next couple of days. Now let's take a look at what we're going to be looking at a lot over the next few days, the temperature forecast. So today, as you can see, pretty cool across most of the area, low to mid-70s from Seattle south, upper 60s to low 70s, Seattle north, and the coast in the mid to upper 60s. As we go through Tuesday, pretty similar, we do start to warm back up to the mid-70s from Seattle southward and everywhere else pretty much remains the same as today. But as we go into Wednesday, you can see that ridge starts to build and temperatures do start to warm up pretty good. From Seattle northward on Wednesday, expect highs in the mid to upper 70s. From Seattle southward, we'll reach the upper 70s to low 80s, maybe the mid 80s from Olympia southward. And the coast starts to warm up as well to the low 70s on the beaches and the upper 70s inland. Thursday, this is going to be the hottest day possibly of the entire month of September, and this is just one forecast. We'll take a look at a lot more forecasts for Thursday over the next few days here as we get closer, but on Thursday from Seattle North, expect highs in the upper 70s to mid 80s, hottest east of I-5. From Seattle Southward, we'll likely be reaching the mid 80s to low 90s. Look at those low 90s across most of Pierce County, Thurston County, Mason County, and even parts of Grace Harbor County and south through the I-5 corridor. And it'll be quite hot on the coast on Thursday with highs at the beaches in the mid to upper 70s and highs inland near 
Ye Raymond and Hoquiam in the mid 80s. And then that will continue, but with some cooling on the coast on Friday. Coast drops on Friday to the upper se upper 60s inland, upper 70 or upper 60s on the beaches, upper 70s inland. And then Friday for the lowlands remains quite warm, upper 70s to mid 80s, Seattle North, mid 80s to low 90s again, Seattle Southward. So we'll be taking a look at this in much more detail over the next few days, so stay tuned for that. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, ring that notification bell, and share these videos. Doing all of this is the best way to help Western Washington weather grow, but especially subscribing, and as that helps this channel to become recommended across most of YouTube and helps us get more viewers here. So thank you very much for watching, and watch out for that chance of thunderstorms across the area today and those strong winds in the Kittitas Valley. And have a great day, and I will talk to you all tomorrow.